There we are, guys. We are live. Here we are at the Open Championship with a special guest. You guys know this guy on the right here, Cam Stewart uh, from Sports Grid, a bunch of other uh, platforms, Mayo Network, you name it, guys. Uh, Cam is here. We're very thankful to have Cam on the screen here. But we're here to talk about Open Championship with you guys. Uh, last week, Cam, uh, Bobby Mack. Yeah. Uh, thriller. <laughs> Holy jeez, the guy! I'll able... tell you, I'll take a break, Gogster. Usually they go against me, lifting boulders, whatever. Yeah, no, honestly, no, no, he had to, he had to execute the shots. I, I admit, if you're Adam Scott, you're like, that's, that's a shit drop, but, whatever. But you know what yeah. though? Bottom line is this: he nutted it, hit eagle, and hit all the putts down the stretch. It's not like that's the whole thing. People are like, oh yeah, this situation. No, but the guy did. He nailed putts, and and the one on 18. So. Kudos to Bobby Mack. You know what, Ghoster? I'm actually upset. It was almost yeah. like a daily triple. I had uh, the Cooties, Pearson Cootie at 80 to 1. He was oh. in a five man playoff. And I had the Filipino sensation, Rico Hoey. He was in the playoff. And literally, if he hits it one yard less, he yeah. literally wins the tournament because it went into the rocks. He had to take a drop and he, he got in the playoff. But uh, Hall, Harry, Hall. Harry Hall, double H, not triple yeah. H, double H wins. Wish I had a piece of Harry Hall in that can goal hat. But yeah, I, I, I thanks for thanks for that recap, Cam. I didn't catch any of the the, the oh, it was nuts. Or, uh, but I saw the highlights there. He chipped in. Hey, Harry chipped in. I think it was there, and uh, so he extended it to the playoff or, yep. or something like that. But uh, yeah, uh, Harry Hall gets the win there, uh, and then McIntyre over in uh, in Scotland. And we're not going far, hey, Cam. We're going from one side of Scotland to the other here. Uh, stay in there, guys. It's Royal Troon uh, this 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 year. Last time they played here, Cam, twenty fourteen, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, so every 10 years, usually they're going to play this course. But this is one of the most underrated courses, Cam, I've Agreed. seen really in a while. You, you got you got greens the size of a postage stamp, as I keep hearing, you know, the size of a dime. Uh, and then you're going to have a lot of blind shots I've been seeing there, a lot, a lot of blind going over humps. Uh, you got to be in the fairway or else you're not going to be able to hold these greens. And the amount of pot bunkers, holy Jesus, Cam. Uh, these pot bunkers are, are just left, right, and center. If they're in the fairway, if they're around the green, uh, it's going to be a lot of scrambling, I think, brother. How do you see this uh, this year's track going? What do you think is going to be key this this week? Well, the one thing is, people, you can look at weather reports, and my buddy from Aberdeen, like he's gone to St. Andrews and his whole family's there and stuff, and he always told me Troon's the most underrated, and I, I couldn't agree more. I love Troon. It's actually one of my favorite courses, yeah. and it is absolutely gorgeous. Thing is, Gogster, we can look at the weather. You could try to say, oh, we're going to attack this. But this changes on a dime. In 10 minutes in Scotland, it could be sunny and beautiful. Next thing you know, 25, 30 mile an hour winds, sleet. That's the whole thing. They got lucky at the Scottish Open. That was actually the best weather they've ever had. And uh, yeah. I don't expect, I expect some more. They say it's going to be nice early, but I don't believe any of those weather reports. Usually when the Open Championships at Troon, it's going to be dangerous. I'm just looking for guys who, you know, basically played well last week, play yes. well in Europe, and and just fell short. I found I have a couple specials for you. I think okay. there's a couple guys under the radar with their prices. And you know what? I think guys who kind of hit it long and straight will have a little bit of an advantage. I don't know how Scheffler's gonna play at this tournament, probably well, but he's not gonna be a part of my outrights, but I'm putting him in some specials and I've already made two outrights, Gokster. I got Morikawa on a boost to uh, 18, and I have Hatton at 28. Those are the two outrights that I have right now, and I'm looking at more. Uh, Mayo and his buddies, they got me on the Tony Finau train. I think Ooh. he can be very dangerous, especially for a top 10 or 20, but those are my two outrights, and uh, we'll go over some of the bets, and I found some beautiful specials, like absolutely wow. beautiful, beautiful specials uh, that, that are coming in. Like, I'll give you one now, Gogster, because I I'm not sure when I gotta uh, leave or whatever. But I'm gonna tell you this: this is I I couldn't believe this bet. It was even money, yep. and I did this one on Mayo. We do gold, silver, and bronze. It is literally Rory McIlroy and Xander Shoffley to finish top twenty, including ties, even plus one hundred. Even that's yeah. I'd lay fifty cents, I, sixty cents with that. Was that the gold for you, Cam? Or I don't want to yeah. give it away, but. Yeah, yeah it was, that's yeah. it was a gold. I, I that that seems like a steal, including ties. That's what I do too. I love it. you. Got to take the including ties. Worst thing is getting the top twenty, then and then you lose the bet. Uh, but I I really like that. Uh, Xander didn't make my card cam. I do like him in the top ten even. And then mm -hmm. Rory, I find in these the, the, the open cam. Like if you look at Robert Mack, what he did, 
you, you get these high, you need a high ball flight if you want to hit these greens because they're mm-hmm. so small, they're going to be rolling off. If you kind of got that ball flight that kind of, you know, you, you just, you really need to stick them. You need to have that stick them like flex seal. You need to just stick it right on those greens. Like, so I think the high ball flight guy like Morikawa, he's been sticking them lately. I'm also on Morikawa with you, Cam. 16 to one, I got him. I, I love him. I, he's look at him. He's playing unbelievable. And he's won the open before, right? Honestly, if he actually, he made a couple of mistakes on Sunday. He was right there to win that tournament. Yeah. Just a couple loose shots. But the thing about Morikawa, he's won the open championship before. Sometimes his putting this year is bad, but these greens in Scotland, this is what I like about this. It nullifies guys who are not above average putters, the way these greens are. So, and sometimes Tony Finau, another guy that can get a little bit loose. He can get hot, he can get cold. So I like these guys that actually are not the top putters, but Morikawa checks all boxes in ball striking, everything else. Hatton has been an absolute monster on the live tour, winning top threes, top fives, top... Whatever, and I think he'll embrace this tournament. I think he, I think he, he knows. I'll play in tough conditions. I will grind. Sure, he's going to flip out a couple times. That's what Hatton does. He's emotional yeah. like me. He's going <laughs> to get really, really up and really, really down. But the thing is, it doesn't really affect his game. Other guys fall apart, but that's who he is. That's his DNA. So Hatton's dangerous, and no else. I'm thinking about uh, Gogster. A couple yeah. like top twenties I put in with Fee now already. Uh, he was good plus money. And I like yeah. Tagala again. I think Tagala is actually going to play really, really well this week. I like him for, I think he could be top 10, but I'll take the top 20 price to plus money. I think it's absolutely fantastic. I got Tagala. I found him on a site. Gokster, he's already been bet down. I couldn't believe I got this number. He's plus 220 yeah. for a top 20. Um, I like him. And I like, as I said before, I think um, Hatton's going to be wow. dangerous. And my other guy was uh, Finau. Be now in the top 20 markets. Uh, I like a lot. Another oh. special, you're gonna, you're not even gonna believe this one either. This, oh, this was my this was my last one. I, I can't, Chef, Chef Cam here. Yeah, I don't know what's <laughs> going on. I, I told you, go straight. Dude. The one thing about working four or five shows before is I have to get my bets in and I get yeah. them early. So now oh, I know what I'm doing. She, listen to this one. Scheffler, Shafale, Rory, yeah. all top 20 and ties plus 150. Plus 150. Yes. Oh, Jesus. I'm telling you. Like, I, I, lay, I would lay like 110, 120 with that. Like, I, like, I, hey, anything can happen in golf. We know. Shafale brought his D game. He finished top 20 last week. He had nothing. Rory missed so many damn putts. The fact that, but he could birdie like seven in a row. He should have been there. And he, and he still finished pretty high. And Scotty Scheffler, I don't care where it is in the world, Scotland, whatever. You're going to give me a, a top 20 with those three guys to plus 150. Bet sold. So I, I agree with you, Cam. When, when you're having these tough tracks, you got really good golfers, they're gonna shine. Like even Xander, he got up to 12 under. Rory mm-hmm. still didn't have his best, but he's still there. So I, the only one I'd maybe be a little worried about, crazy to think, is maybe Scheffler just um just playing the link style, just because it's it's night and day from what they see over in America, right? Like you coming up with the uh, laying up with short, like, like, like you get you gotta lay up short, right? If it's gonna yeah. be dry depending on the weather. And like you said, Cam, the weather's such a dice game. You don't know if it's going to be, you know, wind coming off the off the, the ocean or whatnot or the sea, or it could be even, um, you know, just, just wind direction that's going to yeah. change. So um, I, I agree with that. I, I really like that play. But I guess, like, as you like to say, Cam, uh, you're reading my mail because I have Hatton as well. I like Hatton. Everything you said, yeah. he's just – he fits the bill. If you want a guy that's going to grind and it's going to get out pars – I think at this track, par is going to be a damn good score in some of these holes. Hatton's my guy. So and also, I, I, he's played well. Dunhill links, other courses yes. like that. You have to look at like these courses. Hatton, to me, is one of those guys. And I think the price might stay the same because people are going to bet, uh, you know, Scheffler, other guys too. But Hatton, if you can find this guy, like if I can find him again and scour on like some of these weird sites and get like over like 30, I'm going to put okay. double units on him. Like I, I love him. He's yeah. definitely in a top 10. I'm going to smash him in matchups. And I just think he's a very, very dangerous player. I got one more for you, Gokster. You're going to oh love this. You're going to oh love this one. It very is much. so fucking stupid that you're going to love it. Top. First, I was going to do top South African, Ernie Els, 18 to 1. <laughs> but I'm going to take Ernie Els, top senior, at 10 to 1. I got to give Mayo credit. He found it for me. He goes, 10 listen, he's got to beat, he's got to beat Stuart Sink. Harrington, those are guys you got to worry about, Phil. So all in the top senior class, Ernie's been playing great on the senior tour. Does he not play well at the Open Championship? 
10 to 1. Wow. Ernesto. Ernesto. Hey, Ernesto. Fists on a plane. Just talk to uh, who, who's our who's our buddy? Steve Marino. Steve Fight Marino. Club. Fight Club with yeah. Ernesto. 10 yeah, to 1. Think twice He's... before he invites you onto a plane. <laughs> uh, look at this, Cam. He's won three times in his last five goes here. He's at a T8 and a T13. I just quickly looked up here. So, yeah. low key, you know what? I am writing that down 10 to hey, 1. Hey, Boaster, see, I, I come with, I come I down. Yes, usually I'm like, you know me, I'm like Rodney Danger. Oh, I don't know what to do. It's Monday. Oh, and I'm like hitting buttons. Like today, yeah. I was like, I woke up, I couldn't sleep. And I'm like, because I'm thinking about everything. It's almost like Christmas and I'm just going this online. Like and yeah. I got some really good early lines. Guys, some of these guys, like, you, you got to kind of, Test the market. Find, like the, these hat numbers for like top 20s, I think they're going to go down. I think people understand once they get into it. It's Monday now. Put some bets in. Like those uh, Morikawa, I don't think you're going to get anything better than 18. It's in. And He's Hatton 28 was the best I got. I don't, I'm not sure if we're going to find it. I'm going to scour some uh, D grade street books and see if I can get a 30 or 35, which probably is not going to happen. But uh, you know me, Ghoster, always shopping. That's it. You got it. You always got to get the coupons, right? Uh, yeah. I, I like that. 28 to 1, and he has been dropping. Same with Morikawa Cam. So just like you said, I would get those bets in quickly, guys. A um, couple more, Cam, I like. I'm looking at Wyndham Clark. I know you had him last good week. Uh, he had a really good finish on Sunday. I think he went five or six under. His putter started to get hot, and he's got distance off the tee where I think he's going to shorten some of his wedges coming in. So uh, a guy that seems to grind. Yeah, he, 75 to 1, Cam. Like, come on. Uh, Definitely. Top 20 Goldster, like see the, the way he fit, say the way he finished too. Like, that's what we want to do with his bets. And we talk about it with golf. Like, I learned the hard way. Like, I had McIntyre, that was great, but I should have I got greedy. I'm like, you know, I got Cootie, I got I got uh Hui, the Hui. Philippine, I got all these guys, and I should have got out with Hall, but I got greedy. But that's the thing about golf. One guy wins the tournament. It's all about right. making money in units, and it was great, but I would rather take these guys. Yes, you sprinkle on the win. But you do matchups and other things too, because that's the whole damn problem is only one guy wins the golf tournament. And that's why we get paid so much for winners of golf tournaments. But I like the top 20 market, even top 10 for Wyndham Clark, if you're really feeling them. I agree. I love the way he closed on the weekend. Yeah, Wyndham too. I think he was two to one too, Cam. I'm getting on the top 20 on him. So just that's like amazing. Said, sprinkle on the sprinkle on the outright and then just make your money back or more, actually more yep. on the top 20. And then even matchup bets. Uh, probably going to mix him in with matchup bets. But two more that I'm looking at, Cam, before I let you go here, is uh, some big names that are at big numbers. Jason Day, 150 to 1. And Sam and Sam Burns, 165. When was the last time Sam Burns was 165 to 1, Cam? It's funny you oh. mentioned that. I just did a show with those guys, and they were like, we were talked about what were the not like the guys who were out of whack, and Burns was the first guy they mentioned. Yes, 100%. He Cam. should be He should be He's 80. A grinder. He should be 80. Not like half of that. Slice it in half. Even 80 is like high for him. Like, I don't know what they're doing, but I, you know, it, it, those, these are the things, Gokster. This is like, you know, pizza money. You put 10, 15 bucks on this guy yeah. at that price, you win like 1500 type of thing. Like, why not? Uh, and I think Burns, that, that's a disrespectful line big time. Well, look big at this, time. Cam. When, when I looked him up on the PGA here, he's fifth in total driving. That's accuracy and distance. Mm hmm. That's exactly what I want. Scrambling from the sand. I think this is going to be massive. With how small these greens are, Cam, in the runoffs, you're going to be in those bunkers more than you have been in a, in, in a while. Mm -hmm. He's third, or sorry, he's 20th scrambling from the sand. Uh, I, I, how do you not? Those two stats, I think, are going to be so key. If you can avoid, if you can get out of these pop bunkers and you can take advantage of accuracy and distance off the tee, from, from there, I think you're going to get an upper hand on the field. So Sam Burns, 165 to 1. And then our guy, Jason Day, I just think kind of what I was saying at the top, Cam, you need that that high ball flight. I think he's going to mm -hmm. be able to stick them, and he's really good from the bunker. A lot of these Australian guys, just look at uh, Adam Scott last week, guys. Yeah. Uh, they're really good from the bunker. He's 40th from the sand, 60th um, uh, total driving, and then he has played well over here um, at, at the Open. So I'm going to have to put a flyer, Cam, just even a top top 20 on these guys. I think it's like 3-1 to one on yeah. Burns and, uh, and Day. So – those are some guys I'm looking at. I also got some matchup bets uh, as well there too. But um, yeah, any any more bombs? But yeah, you like those. They came day and, uh, and Burns. I do. I have question marks like Adam Scott could have won that tournament last week. I don't know how he's going to react after that despite being a veteran. He's one of those guys I looked at and I kind of – I paused for concern. As I said, I think Tagal is a sneaky play this week, Gogster. I'm, I'm betting him. Like I really like the way he played at the Scottish Open. He had a couple bad putts and – 
He's an aggress- you know what? He's ultra aggressive. So he's going to make a couple mistakes, but his length, I think, will help. And sometimes his risk taking, if on, can help him. It's one of those things, all or nothing. He's going to have, you know, a couple eagles in there. He might make a mistake, but when push comes to shove, I think he'll be inside the top 20 and maybe even make a push. Uh, absolutely, Cam. And just one thing before you go again, uh, I want to go over shots gained last week at the Renaissance. Mm-hmm. Like you say, who did well last week? I think it's going to transfer over. Uh, Thigala was 2.21 strokes gain. That's next best to, to Scott, uh, Aberg, and uh, McIntyre. Calmore Cow was there as well. Rory McIlroy, Sung JM, who's been playing better. Thigala, yeah. Wyndham Clark, Corey Connors, Victor Perez. Those are all guys that, that uh, played really well last week, shots gained. So um, I don't mind that Thigala. The one thing I'll bring up here, Cam, just from some notes I have, his scrambling from the sand this, this year is 167 yeah. Thigala. That's a problem. So that would be the only thing. If we see him in the bunkers and he's kind of – he's not really – he's not putting the proximity close to the hole after that that bunker shot. That would be the only hesitation. But he did so well last week. I feel like maybe that's that's nullified. So um, I wouldn't talk anyone off the gal. I actually have him in a matchup bet as well, Cam. Um, you really need to have around the green game. I think with, with these small greens and uh, all these bunkers that are going to be surrounding it, uh, you really need to have that around the green game. But just one more thing before you go, Cam. Yeah. Some stats here. Just one thing for you guys, a little tidbit of information. The last two years here at the Scottish o- or uh, the, the Open Championship, the previous week, Brian Harmon, who won, he finished T12 at the Scottish Open, Cam. The year before that, when Cam Smith won it, he finished T10 at the Scottish Open. I can't so these players you. that are really doing well at the Scottish Open, like top 20, they've seemed to be – they've been there. Uh, i got to the be last, honest with you, Ghoster. That was my weeks. last, that was my question to you before I was going to leave. I'm betting Brian, Brian, Brian Harmon's going to make my card. He won the I, open championship before you saw how he closed. He finished t- 21st and I've seen Brian Harmon. I watched every damn stroke of that tournament. I, I, I PBR'd every round. He missed yeah. putts that Brian Harmon doesn't miss. Yes. He had a couple unlucky breaks. He should have been inside the top 10. Like Harmon's number is too good for me to ignore. He likes links golf. I think he's sneaky. People don't want to bet him. I'm going to bet him. I think me and you were, we we're absolutely all over each other's picks. What is Harmon right now? Like over 60 to, I see 65. Six. That's a steal. That's uh, a steal. He, he, he's he won it last year. He's, he's, he's in the top 20 here, Cam, from, from this, this group for shots gained the last 20 round. He's playing really well. He's also 47 scrambling from the sand. I love that. And he had a bit of a bad week putting. He, he, he's going to be right there. I, I, that top 20, actually, I'm going to write that down, Cam. Harmon top 20. Yeah. I really like that because as the as the, the it's going to be similar weather I think that we saw last year too. It's going to be kind of coolish, uh, you know, maybe low low sixties, uh, mid sixties, and uh, a little bit of wind as well, possibly rain. Brian Harmon, I love that bet too, Cam. Yeah, uh, I just I just think the number like Burns' number is even more insane. But Harmon literally has been great overseas. The guy's won the Open Championship. He finished like 20, 21st and didn't even play that great. He's just one of those guys that. You know, kind of underrated. And I think he has a perfect game and he has the mindset for this course. The guy's a bulldog. That's another thing about it. Not, not just a Georgia bulldog, but a bulldog in his DNA. He's the type of guy who can grind. I think he can handle it. And uh, he's a smart golfer. And yes. I, distance is one of those things. I wish he had a little more distance, but his wedge game and putting when it's on is some of the best in the world. And I think he really likes Lynx golf. So I think he's a must play in a top 20. I'm taking him out right too. I love that. You know what? The first round leader bets. I'm going to go over those quick, Cam. Thinking yeah. back ahead, maybe first round for Harmon, but here's who I got. I got quite a bit. I got Morikawa. I got Hatton, Fleetwood, Wyndham Clark, Louis Oostazen, another guy who's been playing quite well. He finished, I think, T5 last week, Cam. Uh, Siwoo Kim, he played really well his fourth round, 80 to 1. Sam Burns, 80 to 1 as well. Russell Henley, ball striker, Cam. If he if he gets hot with, the, with his irons, and he just just makes some putts there, Russell. I think he can win that first round. And then Jason Day as well, 80 to 1 uh, first round leaders. Some top 20s, some top 40s mixed in as well, Cam. Um, but any first round leaders before you go here? I, I'm going to play some of the same guys. I've already got Morikawa. Yeah. I'm going to take Fleetwood. Clark, yeah. you've sold me on, but I, I, I have to put Xander Schauffele there. He's a Thursday warrior and he's 25 to 1. I know people are like, you want more. Everybody wants 51 or more. No, you're giving me 25 to 1. On a guy that's not even like his numbers, like cut in half to win the damn tournament. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, exactly. And you're giving me 25 on Xander, who always comes out of the gate hot most of the time. I'm exactly. taking him at 25. I can't resist that number. I think it's a good price. I love that. And he came out. He came out slow last week. Yes, he did. First round leader, and then what did he do? He just kind of kept getting yep. better. So I really like that uh, that play for him to come out strong. 
Um, I'll let you go here, Cam. It's coming yep. on to one thirty, so uh, I really appreciate Thanks. your time, brother. As always, hope you guys enjoy Cam there. It's always fun having him on. Uh, check him out at Cam Stewart uh, Live, I believe it is on Twitter uh, or in Sports Grid. There, uh, I do at uh, ten o'clock at night Eastern time. Him and uh, I just get Abraham. a text from Sportsnet in Calgary. They want me to come on at nine o five. Don't you guys fucking understand? I work the night shift come with Lorenzi. Like, come on, man. It's just like. Know what it is, Gogster? We're good. You're my buddy. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I just say it's like random people coming. It's like, hey, man, you come to you fix my me, toilet. Man. I'm paying you. Like, just, just give me coupons. I'm not even asking for cash. Give me food coupons. Like, exactly. Barrels of KFC, pizza, whatever the hell you got. Just, I don't care if you pay me. Pay me in food or product. Maybe a golf shirt or something. I don't care. Exactly. Something. Send exactly. You need it, guys. That's it for this show <laughs> this week. Uh, we'll be back again uh, next week. I think it's the 3M Open. I'll be going yeah. over. So not as uh, not as interesting, but uh, we're still going to hit a winner. We're coming oh, up. No, we got the Barracuda too. Go oh, we got the I say, uh, before I go, who are we? I, I took what? Which guy did I take? I took a couple. Uh, who do you got? Is, uh, who do who do I have in the Barracuda again? Hey, oh, Mark God. Hubbard. Who do you got? Mark Hubbard. No, actually, I was looking at Hubbard. Um, me and Pat Mayo, actually, we're going to take the Filipino Prince Rico Hoey at uh, 60 to Ooh. 1 again. We're just going to ride this guy out. Uh, knows a very dangerous player in this tournament, too. This has got Patrick Rogers, guys who eagle holes. He's been close before. He can't close the door, but I think he can be close. And what has Schwab done for you? Mateus Schwab is another guy that we've looked at. That's awesome. Thanks a lot, Cam, guys. Uh, we'll be back next week uh, for the, the 3M. Uh, but until then, guys, cash those tickets. Be good, and uh, we'll see you next time. Cheers.